So this project is called Cherry Blossom and we've decorated it on the front with the little cherry blossom tree but when you open it up you have this three-dimensional tree that pops up okay and it looks complex but it's actually really quite simple to make this one you just have to give yourself drying time that's really important okay and then it just falls down pops up <laughs> there's something that takes you back to being a child when you're making pop-up cards i have to say you get that that little when you when it works it's brilliant right so i've got all my pieces cut and i just want to talk you through the bits that you might think not sure about that okay so um let's work off the instructions again fold the card base in half the guidelines need to be at the top of the card so there are guidelines on here so i'm going to turn my card around so that they're at the top okay and you're going to then fold your card in half You'll also notice that the perforation lines don't go to the right, to the top and the bottom on any of the cards. That's because we don't want them to split. So we've got our card now. Um, there are mats that will go inside. So any matting and layering that you're going to do inside, as in full pieces, make sure you, that you do them before you start to stick your mechanism in place. And then on the other side, it says fold all the score lines on the pop-up box as mounted folds, glue the side tab in place to create a square box. So we've got our pop-up box and we're going to fold all of them as mounting folds. So one, two, three and the tab. And then the box, the, these are going to be uh, mounting folds again, so your tabs are going to go underneath. Then you're going to put glue onto your tab it's been a long time since i've made pop-up cards and after i got over the frustration of um working out what went where and i rewrote the instructions do you know the team are absolutely amazing but they write instructions like graphic designers write instructions not like crafters so i was like right i'm going to write all the instructions because I know they need to know they make sense. I had bottom sides, left, back, underneath, sat, all sorts going on. So I've made them as clear and as concise as possible, all right? Um, but you'll notice that I don't think the leaflet even fit in the box on this one because there was so many instructions and photographs because you need them in, in this. Right, I'm just going to have a quick look at this and make sure that right, tabs come at the front. I don't want another disaster like the, uh, like the other card, do I? We'll talk about that one the bird's nest if you haven't watched it yet go and watch it it's a good laugh right so cut two tree a's and two tree b's so tree a's and tree b's and i've cut two layers of each and i've glued them together when you're gluing them together please 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 be precise because this these slits here are important all right so it's it you need to make sure that they're bang on top of each other so it says cut two tree a and glue together cut two repeat with tree b, b slot tree b into tree a so we're going to go in and put the slots in like that so it then becomes a dimensional tree yep yeah. so if i took that out put tree b into tree a there's only one way it can go it can't slot that way so it's quite obvious which way it goes and then it stands like that okay glue the tree mats in place now you have these pieces some are one way around some are flipped they need to be flipped because on some parts of the tree you're working on the front of it and on other parts of the tree like this you're working on the back of it or what would be the back of it if it was still a separate piece so when i first made this i was like i'm not sure about this so you need to flip them the files that you've got in your usb are already flipped for you but if you wonder why that's why so you're going to go around and on each of those eight sections you're going to stick one of the mats okay once you've done that and let them dry it then says fold the tree middles so these are the tree middles all right and you've got score lines 
and you're going to score the fold lines as follows. So you're going to do a, and I found my instruction, you're going to do a valley, so you're going to create that V, you're going to do a mountain, and then you're going to do another valley. So you'll end up with that. I'll lift that up so you can see. And it opens and closes like that. Turn it around like that. Then you're going to glue one of these into each one of the four sections that you've got. So you're going to glue. And these will all line up with the pieces that you've already got. This is what's going to stabilise this. So you're going to have one. So the first tab sticks to the left hand side of there, like that. And then the other one sticks onto this panel so that that bit faces out, you see? So that's coming forward. So you're gonna glue all those in place on all four. Just make sure you let them really dry before you start to do any of the other bits and pieces and you've got other things that you can be doing on the card you don't have to sit there and twiddle your thumbs because we don't do that do we as crafters we like to keep him be keeping busy so you're going to stick those all the way around on the right sections so you will have a tree that has all the layers on and all four middles okay not going to do all four cut and glue the flowers to the tree so there's some little flowers that you can glue on. If I bring in the finished one, you'll be able to see, look, you've got all these little cute little flowers that you can cut and glue on. And I went in with some little white dots so it looked like the blossom on the tree. I thought that was quite nice. Um, fold the pop-up box in half to ensure, to create a diamond shape. So we've got our pop-up box and it's folded to create a diamond shape. So it's not that way, it's this way. And the tabs are at the front. Ensuring that the top and bottom points of the diamond line up with the centre score line of the card base and the tabs are underneath the box, glue it in place using the guidelines on the card base. So, tabs are underneath, box is on a, in a diamond shape, not a square. I'm going to glue them into position so that the tabs, so the, this edge of the box and this edge, so the V as it's facing you, lines up with the V on the guides, okay? Now, if you want to do what I've done and cut the sentiment lots of times and create a detail on the inside like this with the happy birthdays, you need to do all of that before you stick your box down. All right, so do all your matting and layering inside before you stick your box down. Because otherwise you'll get them you'll go, well, I haven't done that. Always to that effect. Right, so I've got that stuck down. And now what we're going to do is we're going to slot the tree into there. So we're going to, this is what's going to make it stable. So again, let this dry. And you're going to work with it in a position where you can see everything. But that then, look, just slots in. And you've just got to fiddle around with it until you've got all the slots in the right places because you're working on four different sides remember right, well, it's a little bit catching somewhere I'm just going to turn it around until I can find there it is that slip's not inside there properly okay just work with it don't fight it and then eventually it will all just drop into place. Now the slits are quite tight because they need to be. So just be aware of that. You just have to do it little bits at a time. Can you see I'm doing a little bit at a time and pushing that down, turning it round, pushing the other bit down like that. And then you've got your tree in place. And then when you fold your card, once those tabs are stuck down, see mine's not going to want to do because I haven't let, this is why it's really important to let your glue and I'm really impatient. I'm terrible. I am probably one of the most impatient people ever. I have a lot of patience when I'm doing stuff like this, but when it's drying, I'm like, come on, I want you to try, I want you to try. Cakes in the oven, that's the worst thing, because you just want to eat them straight away, don't you? That's the worst thing. But once you've got all your bits in and you've got all your box in place, when you fold that, when your tabs are sturdy enough, it will all fold down 
in position and then pop up. And if these bits just want to flick inwards, you can just pull them out again and just give them a, a fold in the opposite direction. And then you will have, come out your little monkey. Thank you. You will have your card that then folds down and pops up. Folds down, pops up. It's a bit addictive that bit, isn't it? One more, fold down, pop up. <laughs>